hey hey it's free and welcome to this video blog episode of the soul growth sexication series part two of the last episode about why sex is not a sin all right think about this if you took food coloring and a cup of water and you put the food coloring you put just like four drops of food coloring into that water okay no matter how much water you add to that that food coloring will always be there the more water you add to it yes the more diluted it becomes to where you can hardly even see that you added red food coloring to that water at some point however if you look under a microscope you can still see the food coloring it is still in the water period think about it this way when you are intimate and having sex with someone you're doing what they call soul time. And you may have heard that term before, but let me explain it a little bit. You are intermingling your, your essence with another person when you're having sex with them. So everything about that person is kind of merging with everything about you. So that person's skeletons, darkness, and demons their beauty, light, and angelic awesomeness, all of that mixes in with the same of yours in a very inextricable way. Once you cross that threshold, once you blend, you can't take it out no matter what you do. But the danger in that is you don't know which parts and which remnants are going to stay. So what are you inviting into your life if you don't know that person? What happens if that person is really, really, really awful, excuse me, a really, really, really terrible person? Maybe they do really bad things that you would never do. What if they're into really dark, satanic things that you are just not even remotely interested in? And they keep that hidden and tucked away as a little secret, this dark little secret that they don't want anybody to know. Yeah. Okay, no big deal not your concern but it is your concern because when you have sex with them you're inviting all of that energy everything about them into you and you don't know what stays what goes how it will impact your life how it will impact your mentality your spirituality your everything if they are not in a similar place as you, and this is why we need to be involving ourselves with people that are equally yoked to us. If they are not in a similar space as you, oh man, they can bring you down. They can make you backslide and start doing things you haven't done in years. You may have been done with drugs and you don't know that they're secretly doing drugs, but now you have this deep craving for drugs in a way and drugs that you have never ever done. That's the power of sex. And when you have that kind of power, there's a reason why we should be a little more careful about it. I'm not going to sit here in front and act like I have never done anything wild and out there. I'm human, just like you. The difference is, now that you know, what can you do? Because you can't undo everything that you've done in the past. I mean, of course, there's there's definitely things that you can do to try to clear up those remnants of that energy so that under the microscope, that red food coloring is not still there. But it requires work. And that's fine if you're willing to do it. But will you continue to make the same mistakes? Will you continue to tie and get deeply connected with someone in an inextricable way that is not of your highest and best good and it's only going to bring your consciousness down it's only going to bring your life down and affect you negatively and i'm not saying that anybody you have sex with they may actually bring you up they may give you blessings they may be one of those abundantly blessed people that always has the best of luck and that luck comes your way but it's the luck of the draw all right so let, let, let's just, just think about that like you don't know what's going to come and what's going to say it's just like dna right when you have a child, you don't know which parts are going to come from mommy or daddy. You'll know when you see them, when that child comes into fruition. You're digging way into a whole pool of DNA and family members 
that child might come out with green eyes and you didn't even know there are green eyes in the in the freaking gene pool but it does all of this is to say you don't control so much and i do believe it is possible to control it with intentions but you have to be on a certain level of consciousness to do that i'm not even there yet point is soul tying can be a dangerous game to play if you don't know the rules of the game be careful be careful really think about this do some research on this see i don't want to give you all the gems i just want to open your mind to the possibilities and I ask that you open your mind to those possibilities there's so much to be said about soul time there's so much to be said about that connection and there's so much to be said that this is why sex can be considered a sin because you can do so much damage and no one wants you to do that so if I tell you hey don't do that hey it's a sin don't be don't just wait till marriage. There's multiple reasons behind that. I'll talk about that in later videos, but there's, there's, there's a method to the madness. Thank you so much for your time. I have made this video a lot longer than I intended. Wait for part three. It's coming.